Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. One pizza too many cooking and unboxing videos. And today I'm back in the wilderness at my mate Kel's small holding um, because let's face it, what a cracking place to film. Um, and he has bought a new camping fridge. Now, you may see my unboxing video of my camping fridge that I bought the Polar Box 42 litre. Um, camping fridge so I thought perfect let's do another unboxing of a different camping fridge and um, so then you guys can compare and see what you think this was a similar price uh, as mine so I paid 350 pounds for mine this one is 380 pounds it's a little bit bigger um, and it's got two compartments so let's get it open and let's see what it's all about but before then if you like what you see make sure you are smashing that thumbs up for me and make sure you are subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell for notifications of when I release a new video. Okay, so let's have a look at the box. So it says Delonda, um, 60 litre, so 18 litres bigger than mine. Portable, dual zone, compressor, fridge, freezer, cool box. Dual zone, does that mean we, we can have it two compartments running fridge and freezer we'll soon see um, for car camping it's got an LED light in it and it can be run on 12 volt or 230 volt um, and the website's on the bottom of the box www.delonda.co.uk so let's get into unboxing it okay so there we go and straight away it's got wheels mine's not got wheels so you can pull it along very very handy because I did fill mine up with beer I mean beverages um, and I could hardly lift it so that is a really handy feature I like that so then we're going to lift the packaging off I'm just going to put everything back in the box to stop it blowing away and a nice sort of logo in on the side Delonda and then round the front if you've seen my video the panel drops down and I've got all the controls but this one's just on top we've then got handle for pulling which is cool or you can use it just for lifting and then if I lift it up you'll see the control panel just here at the front right let's get it open I'm gonna bring it in closer so you can see when I open it and you can have a look at the little screen as well okay let's get it open and it is it is quite a hard open it's got little plastic lugs at the side to lock it whereas mine has a clip to you know actually a little handle you have to press to unlock so that's one difference apart from the obvious way it opens then once we're inside we've got a box I love a box in a box and we have the power adapter and then we have the mains charger plug and then the car charger plug which obviously and um, with us being out and about that's what we'll use to try this and um, plug it into the car and see if it see if it works there's then paperwork okay so a little thank you for purchasing and can you leave us a review well <laughs> I bet they didn't expect a YouTube review then there's um, just a little bit of information about the the box itself of conformity and then the instruction manual it's saying don't use it in the rain well we need to worry up because it looks like it is going to hammer it down it tells us about the LCD display which I'll show you in a minute so you've got temperature you've got right zone and left zone 
settings and also you've got a USB power outlet and now that is a nice little addition like that and that's it so again not much to the instructions but better than nothing okay then um, we've got a basket shaped around the compressor we've got another basket which is a lot deeper because it's not shaped for the compressor and then we've got like a, a wall like that so you can take that out and you can just have a massive space if you didn't want the basket and there is a drain plug in the bottom as well which again mine doesn't have um, it's plastic coated inside again mine's sort of like a silver metal finish um, but overall there is a lot more space in this cool box so we'll put the basket back in there's one basket Now, I'm interested to know how you can differentiate between the two zones in this because I can't see any outlets. So it must be the edges get cold, different temperature and it regulates it through the, the outer sort of skin of the cool box. If you know, hit me up in the comments, let me know. So close the lid, and then if I spin it round, we'll peel the, um, you know, the protective paper off or plastic from the control panel, and you'll see the little USB outlet, which is nice. And then you've got your left zone and your right zone. Um, so that's the compressor basket, so it shows you a little cut out of the basket so you know that that's the back end and the full basket so you know it's this front side um, and then obviously you can just up and down on the temperature to regulate the temperature so let's get it plugged in and let's see if it works fingers crossed right so we've plugged it into the car um, now remember before you do plug something like this in you need to wait at least six hours ideally overnight because mr delivery person may have been a little bit rough had it upside down left and right and um, so you need all the uh, liquids to settle in the compressor units and things like that so just a little tip there so we're going to plug it in so at the bottom and at the bottom it does say it's also 24 volt as well as 12 volt so if you're a trucker you may be interested so there we go we're we're on with the power that's always a good start you can sort of hear the fridge starting up i would say it was quieter than mine as well actually and then we can so at the minute the side with the basket that's shaped around the compressor is on minus 18 and the full side is on three degrees now what did i say in the instructions it says not to be used in the wet and typical british weather it is just started to rain as you'll be able to see so we'll see we'll see how far we get so currently um this front section is uh, minus no sorry not minus it is 15 degrees um and the other section is 12 degrees so it's taken around half an hour to get this down to temperature which is great and um, similar time to mine and again so you know without stripping it apart the internals are, are probably very similar uh, we will do a side-by-side -side comparison video at some point now interesting thing to note is the power cables are 3.5 meters long so a decent length and um, it is 60 watt in power now obviously that's not constant because once it's down to temperature they kind of switch off and then when it needs to they'll kick back in and um, so not a vast amount of power use which is really good as well and um, so overall a nice sort of starter cool box if you're not wanting to spend big bucks um, on a Dometic or an Electrolux and um, this does have battery protection built in as well for your vehicle and it does show you on the LCD screen your battery um, so 
um, it showed us that we've got it plugged into a Jeep, I know, next to a Land Rover, crazy. Um, it said that the battery was down at 11.6 so um, volt, so it has got battery protection which is a really, really handy feature if you're camping. Now size wise, so from the edge of the handle to the edge of the handle is 71 centimeters. The width is 35 centimeters. You can hear the wind's picked up because the wind chimes are going. Um, and it is 55 centimeters tall. So when these kind of grow in literage, basically you can see it here. So if this was the smaller 42 liter version, it'd be one less panel. So there's two two filler panels basically. So as they grow, they put a filler panel in. If you got the next one up from this, there'd be three panels. So basically they just grow in height. The overall footprint doesn't grow at all. Um, so that's an interesting note. If you are thinking of getting the bigger version, footprint will be the same, but obviously the height, you need to take that into consideration for storing in your boot. So there we have it everyone. That is the end of the video. Um, hope you've enjoyed looking at the Delonda 60 litre camping fridge. Um, thanks for my mate Kel just behind the camera for letting me unbox it, because uh, it is his fridge, not mine, um, and for borrowing his fantastic land. I'm not impressed that he's ordered the rain and the wind, because um, it's meant to be summer. Um, but anyway, let's open the next video. We've got a bit of warmth back with us. Um, make sure you are giving me that thumbs up if you found today useful and you make sure you are hitting subscribe and that notifications bell when I release a new video. Until next time everyone, thanks for watching. One pizza too many.